What's going on guys? I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior. So today's topic of conversation is, um, well, it's going to be another slightly offensive one if you have delusions of grandeur. Okay, I'm warning you right now, all of you guys with the delusions of tactical grandeur might be offended. But for everybody else, you might like it. So we're going to be real with it. I'm from the East Coast originally. I don't believe in like dancing around a subject. I don't believe in giving anyone false hope or false sense of security. I tell it like it is. And um, today we're going to be talking about the difference between real world skills and freaking fantasy. There's a lot of misconceptions out there that a lot of guys have, guys and girls, be fair about it, about like tactical training and what really is necessary to become a well-rounded, capable, competent warrior. There is a large gap between the skills that we really need and the skills that we may think that we need. You know, I remember um, it was back during the 2012, like only the hardcore guys out there were actually prepping, right? Like this was still kind of underground, but like you had the YouTube channels out there, like Southern Prepper One and like there was, a, there was a very small yet select group that was like prepping, right? And I watched the evolution of like YouTube preppers and everyone um, over the years. And there's a lot of people that get stuck in like the, I'm going to put together a bug out bag, fill it with a whole load of useless shit. And if anything happens, I'm going into the woods. Well, like, <laughs> don't do that, number one. But number two, this is an a allegory, analogy. Um to say that like the more you know the less you need i'm going to explain what exactly i mean by that but let me get to it in a rounded way okay as uh jen Tsitsaki would say we'll circle back to that in a little bit if you think about the skills that actually work to bring you home safely um, very few of these actually involve putting your hands on somebody. And this is like the, the real McCoy truth that like, dude, no Krav Maga instructor is going to tell you this, like some might who are good, but like most, and I hate to say this, but like, there's a lot of self-defense coaches out there that like, Dude, like they don't, they're not giving you the real McCoy here. All right. They're full of malarkey, as JB would say. The hard skills, as we like to call them, um, are important and they should not be overlooked. Shooting, fighting, fighting with a vehicle, fighting with your hands, whatever, right? These type of things. Um, but, you know, rarely are they actually implemented. If we're being honest with ourselves here, um, you're way more likely to need interpersonal skills um, than you are to need to know how to chop someone in the throat. It's just being completely honest. Um, you know, even if you live in a bad neighborhood, yeah, you should know how to fight for sure. Um, but you're way more likely to be able to have a favorable outcome having some street smarts and just being able to talk well to people. And then you know what? Have some good cardio. If you need to run, run. <laughs> you know, he will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Um, I, I'm going to say this. Um, there's a lot of guys out there who, who they say, all right, I want to know how to like defend myself or like, I want to get my CCW and be good at it. So like, I'm going to go take a bunch of shooting courses, right? The guys in the States, at least they go, they go and they take a bunch of shooting courses and I go, all right, cool. Like I'm all for that. Go, go do it. Like, especially if you're going to carry a gun, like go get good and learn how to shoot proficiently and tactically, right? There's a difference between standing at a square range and like shooting a fucking paper target. That's just stationary and not shooting back. And then like being in a gunfight. Um, but yes, go and learn your tactical skills. But then the problem is with a lot of guys is they like to do what they're good at. So they never stop doing the tactical training. They just take more and more and more courses, which cool. You should be, especially if you're actually, you know, training for 
to be a well-rounded warrior, for example. But there is so many other <laughs> um, schools of combat and so many other skill sets that you need besides shooting, unless like Mexico decides to officially, officially invade the U.S., um, you know, or like Russian paratroopers start dropping out of the sky or like shit really hits the fan, like your odds of being in a firefight, um, unless that's your occupation are not super high, but your odds of like, um, driving down the road and coming across a car accident are a lot higher. Right. So to be able to have the skill set to like pull over and render aid to somebody is like a super valuable one. And I've, I've been in this situation. I'm going to tell you this also as a former EMT with the fire department, like your half day bleeding control course that you took from like Jim Johnson's tactical training course doesn't cut it. <laughs> it does not cut it. Um, your one day beacon course where you learn how to put a tourniquet on somebody and stop a bleed, um, you know, bleeding arm or whatever, like it, it's good. It's good if somebody gets shot at the range, maybe, but like that doesn't cut it to like render aid on a, on a, like a real medical situation. Like if somebody goes down with a heart attack, which is, you know, one of the more common things that happens, um, being able to tell like, okay, like, do I need to give them CPR? Like, what, what do I do now? Like, unless you've actually gone through some training, like you, you don't know as much as you think, you know, dude. Um, so, and I'm not saying to go out there and become a freaking EMT. It's not necessary, but you should be putting more training um, into your medical skills. You know, again, I, I, in bodyguard school, and I've gone through a couple, they told us that it was way more likely that your client was to have a medical issue than it was to, you know, that you would prevent someone from shooting them. Um, and they stress the importance of solid first aid skills. At least, you know, first response, first aid skills. It's a very valuable skill set. And I'm not trying to get lost on this one and harp on it, but it's important. Now, another thing, you know, that's important, and I'm not going to list them all thing by thing. In fact, forget about that, okay? Don't even worry about that. What I'm going to tell you is this, all right? I want you to picture a Zodiac astrology chart. A lot of guys watch this channel. A lot of A-type guys watch this channel. So you might not know what the fuck I'm talking about, but listen, um, talk to enough women. <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about. Zodiac uh, astrology chart is like, there's like 12 different, a picture of pie chart, right? With like 12 different sections of pie in it, right? Okay. Now we're going to put in each section some type of tactical training, right? So we've got shooting, we've got communication, we've got soft skills like verbal judo, we've got hand-to-hand -hand combat, we've got driving. Okay, that's six. We'll leave it at six, right? This is what we should be doing to make ourselves, again, a well-rounded warrior. That's why the chart's fucking round. Make ourselves a well-rounded warrior. We should not concentrate just on the shooting. We should not concentrate just on the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Look, I know professional MMA fighters, but for some reason, they think because they're an MMA fighter, they know how to shoot. And they're like good at tactically shooting. I've taken them to the range and they're like standing like an 80s cop like this. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, no. Um, because you are good at one of these things or because you have reached a level of proficiency at one of these things does not make you good at the other. So really, it's way more likely, okay, that you're going to need to know how to talk to a cop than it is that you're going to need to know how to, like, break somebody's freaking neck. Believe me, talking to a cop is a freaking art, man. And I, I don't want to say like I've been on the streets long enough because like that sounds so stupid, but like I've lived a colorful life and I wasn't always a goody two shoes. Um, and I've also done this internationally as well quite a bit. And I'm telling you this, that your freedom can very well and your life can very well depend on how well you can talk to a police officer. Uh, I'm not saying to be a criminal and do any illegal shit but it doesn't matter if you're a criminal or not. This is something that's a highly valuable skill set. Things like this. I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? Um, 
I don't really love teaching hand-to-hand combat. Let me explain. Okay, don't get bent out of shape. Let, let me exp- let me explain myself. No, I I love teaching hand to hand combat, but you know when I've got a, a classroom full of IT nerds and women, <laughs> it's like what am I going to do here? Like, yes, I can absolutely teach them how to survive a violent conflict, um, but I'm not going to lie to them and I'm not going to tell them that like I'm going to like make them a competent fighter. And I'm not going to lie to them and tell them that, like, with these techniques, you can beat anyone who's been through any type of serious, like, wrestling or, like, combat training, like, combat sports or anything. Like, they they won't be able to, and they should know that, and I, I remind them of that. But I do enjoy taking somebody who will give me their time, 130-pound woman or especially 130-pound woman, um, or, you know, like, an IT guy, right? And, like giving them the mix of hard and soft skills that will absolutely make them an indomitable force. If you are good with communication, like interpersonal communication, and you can also shoot and you can also fight a little bit and you can also get creative when fight with a pen, not this type of pen, please, please not this type of pen, but like, you know what I mean? Like if you know this James Bond type of stuff, I mean, this will make you a force to be reckoned with, right? If you know all of a little bit of all of these types of training halls, as the ninjutsu would say, training halls, um, you are a force to be reckoned with, and you are you are you're going to be a hard target that way, right? And that's why they train like spies this way, right? And it's not because they make them crazy good at shooting or crazy good at fighting or crazy good at that, right? Like they don't. Um, to give them enough to like survive, but they they make them very good at a very uh, effective mix of hard and soft skills. It's like the yin and the yang, right? Hard and soft skills. It's one of the that's one of the symbologies of the yin and yang. Unfortunately, like this stuff is not sexy and it doesn't sell. So anybody who really knows what they're talking about, um, I've noticed this, you know, like there's, there's a couple of channels besides mine on YouTube and I'm not going to give this one guy a shout out because I don't really like him that much. I asked him to come on my podcast several times and he was a fucking asshole. So I will not mention his name or shout him out in a good or bad way, but You know, I've noticed that he teaches like really good stuff. I think he was in the special forces and he teaches a lot of SOC P based stuff. Um, I've interviewed the inventor of special operations combatives program, by the way, and go check that out on our uh, tactical podcast. Not the same dude, but like this other guy gets maybe like a hundred views per video. And I'm always surprised because the information he puts out is very legit. Um, Maybe the fact that he's a fucking dick has something to do with it. But in any case, um, people don't want to watch that. They don't want to watch a 15-minute lecture about the intricacies of getting out of a seatbelt and um, jumping into combat. Is it like one of the most important things that you could learn? Yeah, if you're actually being like serious about your survivability and f- having a gunfight, like yes, like that's an incredibly like minute subject that you should like pay attention to, but it's not sexy. Nobody wants to watch a guy sit in his car for 15 minutes and like unbuckle his seatbelt. Um, nobody wants to hear about like how to they do James Bond sneaky stuff if it's not like how do I parachute out of a plane and like then kill 25 people with a you know special blackout rifle. Like they like people want to hear that and then they want to like imagine themselves in that situation, but like, dude. You're a civilian, man. Like, or like, you're just not that, you're just not that high speed, man. Like, it's cool. Like, it's cool. It's entertainment is what I'm trying to say. It's entertainment. But when it comes down to it, the skills that we really need um, to become a highly effective warrior, they're not sexy. They don't sell. And that's why you just, a lot of people don't put it out there. Um, that's fine. I'll continue to put up 
different techniques for you guys all the time. That's what gets views. As long as YouTube monetizes me, I will continue to put up whatever the fuck you guys want. As long as some of you guys go and buy my shit at gutterfightingsecrets.com from time to time, I don't make a lot of money with that. But as long as you guys, from time to time, I get an order, um, hey, I'll keep putting that stuff out there. No problem. But realize that knowing 15 different ways to chop somebody in the throat or kick somebody in the balls, it's just not that practical. The stuff that we were talking about earlier, the stuff that I've already mentioned is very practical and you should be studying that stuff. Okay. With that being said, Will, um, now that you've talked a little bit of shit about me and I feel like, fuck you, <laughs> what's your point? Well, I mean, unfortunately, you know, my honesty is what it is. And my point is that I really, I really want you guys to to not get suckered into all of this like stuff that might be sexy. It's like I see this in jujitsu all the time. We're like, let me learn a new variation of the bolo choke and like the upside down, like inverted triangle guard. But it's like, dude, you've never learned how to pass guard, man. Like you maybe you learn, but you suck at it. Like I'm smashing you every time, every time, you know, like work on the fundamentals first, dude. Like learn the basics. And if you learn the basics, and know them well, that's what you need to become a fucking highly effective fighting machine, dude. Like, look at the special forces dudes. Like, they learn the fundamentals. Yes, do they learn, like, advanced stuff? Of course. They're fucking special forces. But, like, all of them will tell you, like, dude, we train the fundamentals a lot. We get really good at them. By the way, while we're on this subject, like, everybody thinks of, like, special forces guys as, like, some kind of, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat ninjas, dude. It's not like that. Yeah, they learn Sakti. A lot of what they learn is weapons, is based on weapons, like grappling with somebody, taking a weapon out of your plate carrier and stabbing them in the right place at the right time. It's not that complicated. But again, that's why it works, is because it's not that complicated and it's easy to train basics. It's easy to train. I'm pinned up against the wall. Let me reverse somebody onto that wall, take my knife out, stab them three or four times in the right places. And that's all I need to know. <laughs> That's literally all I need to know. It, it, that's why it works. That's why Fairburn's original Special Forces fighting system, gutter fighting, was so effective. It's simple. And it, you need to know the basics and you got it. And just practice it and you're good. All of this like extra techniques. It's cool. People like to collect techniques, but do they ever spend time training it? Do you spend the months and months that it takes to actually ingrain that into your muscle memory? Most of, Most people don't. Most people don't. The real power lies in um, the ability to identify weaknesses and exploit those weaknesses. Identify weaknesses and exploit those weaknesses, right? If somebody's a 250-pound wrestler built like a fucking gorilla and um, you're not, <laughs> the way to beat them is not through fighting, right? Identify what weaknesses they you can and exploit those weaknesses. Attack when they're weak. Or treat when they're strong, to loosely quote Sun Tzu. So to round things off, guys, um, what we really need is to rapidly be able to identify weaknesses. We need to be able to exploit these weaknesses, whether that's through tactical communication, whether that's through exploitation in another way, whether that's through bribes, um, whether that's through I'll leave it at that. Um, train your soft skills. Don't ignore them. Just because something might not be super sexy and look super flashy and it doesn't have a silencer or a 300 blackout round or a explosion does not mean that it won't win you a fight or ultimately win uh, your side of the war. Wars are won through the mundane um, many times and not necessarily through direct action. That's my point. All right, guys, until next time, please remember that you are the first and the last line of defense. And I'll see you on Saturday for a really special hand-to-hand -hand combat training video. I think you guys are going to like this one while I'm abroad. I've taken some really good stuff and I'll leave it at this. Keep you in suspense. Keep you coming back. You're going to like it. All right. Visit gutterfightingsecrets.com. Dude, get a private consultation with me. I do a one-hour private consultation I'm going to talk about anything you want, and I promise, I promise, dude, I promise, I will get you to that level where you want to be at. 
I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, motherflowers. flowers.